So today we talked about giving props to people who developed the original content. Talked about what is reverse engineering. Let's first ask ourselves, what is this? Um, can help you answer some questions. Some things that you have to know if you're going to be working reverse engineering, knowing some kind of programming language is helpful because it's all about uh, data types, structures, and algorithms. We learned our basic reverse engineering algorithm. And how to lose the mic. Okay, there we go. We learned the basic reverse engineering algorithm, which is gather information to help you identify a function of interest. Basically, where do I start in this big binary? And then once I've identified a function of interest, look at the calls, identify algorithms and data structures, and recurse. Hey, there's recursion. And then we worked on the bomb lab where we talked about how to use the bomb lab, how to look for, um, uh, how to start with some information that you were taking a look at and saying, okay, where do I find this within the binary? Um, how do I, oh, I skipped over. How do I use IDA? How do I use my other resources? Google. Phase two, we talked about how do you identify for loops, the three different parts of the for loop. We talked about what do array accesses look like? What are the couple different ways of identifying those? And we talked about functions that can take a variable number of arguments, how to identify the arguments to being given to a function. Talked about switch cases. Talked about the two different types of uh, implementations of a switch case in assembly. It can look like an if, else if, else if, else if, else if, else, or it can use a jump table as we saw in phase three. Um, learned that we uh, uh, it's easy to go down into the to the weeds into rabbit holes when you're reverse engineering. We talked about recursion. We all learned what recursion can be used for. <laughs> Fun thing. Um, and we went over some debugging, a little basic um, how do I do debugging in IDA? Um, what are the differences between software and hardware breakpoints? How do I how do I set a breakpoint and then step through the code from there?